Hi, I'm AC Strange, and this is the Bad Movie Show, episode 18, The Long Awaited Doll Show. Yay! In this segment, I'm going to talk about dolls, dummies, toys, puppets, and mannequins. This show was requested by our number one fan, Christina. Hey, girl! I am so Sorry it took so long to get this episode together, but my boy Leroy on the other side of the camera, he has a strict policy about posters, and you'd never believe how hard it was for us to find a doll poster of a reasonable price. So this is what he came up with. I hope you like it, and I hope you enjoy the show, because this one's for you. Thank you, girl, for all your support. I really do appreciate it, and keep watching, okay? So... To make up for it, I'm going to give you one of my favorite movies tonight. And also, while we're talking about dolls, I'm going to introduce my co-star and sidekick, Karen DeMilo. I love Karen. I've had her for about 11 years. You know, some girls collect shoes, I collect mannequins, and Karen's my girl. If there was a fire in my house, I'd go back to Karen, because I love her. So, you know what? You've waited long enough for this episode. So let's get started, shall we? First up, one of my most favorite, favorite, and favorite doll movies, Blood Dolls, 1999, unrated, full moon pictures, written by Robert Talbot, story produced and directed by Charles Band, and starring Jack Maturin, Deborah Mayer, and Phil Fondacaro. So, in this movie, I'll tell you straight up that the dolls are secondary, but they're really the coolest dolls you've ever seen. So, it's okay. The story is really about eccentric billionaire Virgil Travis. That's it. <laughs> he has been taken for, for billions in a corporate takeover, and he blames his lawyer... Uh, the prosecutor and the judge for this. So what he what does he do? He turns them into killer dolls and sends them out as uh, like weapons against his enemies. Right now, Mr. Travis has a freakish secret. Girl underneath the mask, he has a tiny head, like a little baby head. He has this big body, but he has this little tiny head under the mask. It's freaking crazy. He also has a psycho clown butler named Mr. Mascaro and he has an all-girl goth group in a cage that he plays like the radio. <laughs> now Mr. Travis, his dog, and his crew, you know, they're, they're going after his enemies one by one, but they're in for more than they bargained for when they go up against Mr. Harrison Newland and his lovely wife, Moira. Now, the dolls are a pimp doll, a crazy pierced uh, tattooed circus geek doll, and a four-arm samurai princess. They're so hot, they're awesome. The best thing about this movie is it has an alternate ending. Right when it ends, Mr. Mascaro comes out and tells you that they made another ending that he likes better, and he wants you to judge and see which one you like better. I'll tell you, the second one's one of my favorites. It, actually, it's my favorite. And I would love to see the movie that came after that. It's great. I love this movie, okay? To be fair, this is a four, but I'm giving it a bad movie gold. <laughs> A bad movie gold star. This movie's just... I, I really... I love this. I bring it over to people's house when they ask me for the craziest thing. And I... This, the most important thing about this movie is it's fun to watch. It's gory. It's creepy. It's unpredictable. But it is fun to watch. I love this movie. So this gets... Did I say a four? This gets a four. And buy it if you find it. Because this is worth putting in your collection. So, yay, Blood Dolls! Love that one! And the only way you uh, follow that up with is with Dolls! 
Rated R 1987, Empire Pictures and Charles, Par uh, Charles Band Presents. Written by Ed Naha, directed by Stuart Gordon, starring Stephen Lee, Guy Rolfe, and Hilary Mason. So, Judy, this little girl, and her father and her stepmother, who are not very nice, get some car trouble in the middle of nowhere. And, uh, and a storm comes, which isn't so bad because they find an old creepy house that seems to be waiting for them. Inside the house is an old couple named Gabe and Hillary, and he is a doll maker. <clears throat> During the storm, uh, some more guests come, two skanky hitchhikers, punk rock hitchhikers, and a salesman named Ralph. And they all stay the night. And in their rooms are all beautifully handmade, exquisite dolls. Everywhere. And Ralph and Judy think something weird is going on. Especially they hear all this giggling and snickering. And then all the horrible guests are dying one by one. So if you haven't guessed, the beautiful, exquisite dolls are the ones running around and killing everybody in this. This is great! <laughs> this is creepy and high drives worthy. This is definitely one of those... Ah! It's great. I played this at the bar, and people were watching this like they were at the movie theater, screaming and holding each other. It was great. This movie is awesome. I'm giving it a four and a buy it. This, you know, for any horror movie fan, this is a must-have for your collection, so put that in it. That one's always great, and always, always cringeworthy and creepy. Always. No matter how many times I see it, I'm always like, oh! <laughs> it's a good one. Last but not least, and my first black and white movie on the show, Devil Doll. Not rated, 1963. Image Entertainment. Story by Frederick E. Smith, Screenplay by Richard Gordon and Kenneth Rive, starring Bryant Halliday as the great Varelli. So, hypnotist and ventriloquist, the great Varelli is dazzling London with his dummy, Hugo, who is able to walk across the stage. There's a reporter, Mark English, who wants to find out, you know, Varelli's secrets. So he asked his girlfriend, heiress Marianne Horn, to invite the great Varelli to her aunt's charity function. English wants to get closer to Varelli, and Varelli wants to get closer to his girlfriend Marianne. His obsession. Mr. Mark English thinks that, some, thinks that something really evil is going on, especially when the dummy Hugo comes to him and asks for help. Okay? So this is really, really creepy. And actually a little scarier than I had anticipated. This was really good. Okay? The music's great. And Varelli is scary and creepy and a really great villain. Uh, most of the movie, the doll take is, is secondary. But I guarantee, seriously, the story's really, really about the doll and its mask. So, I dug this movie, I'm giving it a three, and I see it. Put this on your list, this was good. So that's it for me tonight. I hope you liked tonight's show, girl. And just for you to make up for it, I'm going to give you another doll show right in time for Christmas, okay? So thank you very much, and as always, watch more movies. I'm AC Strange, and this is a bad movie show. Have a good night.